Welcome back to another video by Swatara Warning Lights. I'm Brandon here. Today we're showing you the cruise function on the Phoenix One controller. We have it in split red blue right now. However, you can use it in the you could have it a solid red, solid blue, solid amber, a mixture of all the colors. We'll show you a little bit more how that is set up in a little bit here. Just a quick walk around. We have split red blue on the side with the Phoenix quad rockers. And we have our stick in the back windshield with the split red blue. Coming in the front here, just going to show you our software setup here. We have the Phoenix One right here. The uh, traffic advisor program there, and we have our cruise button program there. We don't have anything labeled at the moment. Going to go down here to the Phoenix One uh, software setup, and I'll just show you a little bit at how to program the cruise function. This this is extremely nice if you're sitting somewhere you, where you want extra visibility along a road, in a parking lot. The other thing you can use it for, you can also use it for uh, marker lights. So like you would put the rockers on a pickup truck, let's say, you have very high quality, heavy duty rocker panel lights that have a full five year warranty uh, guaranteed and uh, you have the ability of course to have flashing if you're doing snow plowing um, it can do amber white plain amber um, snow plowing construction and so on and then when those lights are off that strip can be solid amber as a running light it makes the truck look very nice and stylish um, there's a number of guys we've set that up for and they really they really enjoy it, it makes it look really nice Anyway, on the cruise function here, uh, with what we've got, um, we're in the Phoenix One software on the laptop here, and you can see that I selected the tail cruise function, which is what this is going to be, and by default it's split. So you see if you click passenger, it goes to the passenger, if you click driver, it goes to the driver. You select the brightness, we're going to do 100%, you can select 10%, if you didn't want it so bright, you can select 50%. But we'll do 100% here because most guys like it as bright as can be. Um, and the cruise function, to be honest with you, on full brightness isn't extremely, extremely um, bright. It's it, it's bright. It throws a good deal of light, but it's not it's not blinding. Uh, at least not to me anyway. Um, and then you can go here, and you can choose all or single. Single allows you to single color select modules. So I selected that module. That one could be red. I selected this module. It looks orange on the screen, unfortunately. There we go, there's a little bit redder. And that one could be amber and, and so on. And you can select whatever color you want, whatever combination you want for these modules. And if you don't like that, you can always Oh, I messed it up here. Let me go back 100%. You can always do all and then click each individual side. And just a reminder on cruise, it can only be one color in one module at one time. The quad has where it's the capability to flash multiple colors however it's not happening at each individual time it's happening um, I mean it's happening at each individual time it's not happening all at once you don't actually get white blue in the same flash it's white then blue um, and so on and you can choose single color you don't have to flash all the colors all red blue amber white I know there's a lot of misconceptions about quad out there and we're hoping to put a uh, better video that describes a lot more about quad. If I'm specking out a build, I would say quad is one of the best ways to go. It offers extreme functionality. You can use it as work lights, warning lights, turn signals, tail lights, brake lights. 
If you integrate the Phoenix One, you have the ability of using OBD2 signals, um, or, or if you don't have the ability to use the OBD2 signals, you can just put the Phoenix One in and use it as a regular controller. It still has extreme functionality. It syncs everything perfectly and uh, the new updates that have come out over the air are extra, um, ha have uh, taken care of a lot of the bugs. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's still more to go. So that's just a little bit of how to set up the cruise on the Phoenix One software. The software is free, you just download it straight from Phoenix website. We sell the Phoenix One controller here. We also sell all quad products. So if you have interest in purchasing these products, feel free to reach out to us or just visit our website and buy them straight from there. If they're in stock, they should ship the same day. If not, we will get them on order for you and they will come as soon as we receive them. We also try to communicate with you through the whole process so you know where your order is. If you have interest in getting these products installed on your vehicle, you can feel free to reach out to us uh, via our website contact page or this video uh, in the comments down below. Feel free to leave any comments you might have that would be of interest to us or uh, questions, um, future requests for videos. We do a lot of different installs including police vehicles, uh, construction trucks, security vehicles, landscape vehicles, um, snowplow vehicles. There's a lot of interest in the landscape and snowplow industry to get better, brighter warning lights. That way you're just a lot safer if you're out there. And of course, the Phoenix quad lights are one of the best warning lights out there, one of the most capable and one of the most durable lights available on the market. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to uh, talk to you and um, help you out, get you some installs, um, send you some lights. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.